During these days since March, we have been so occupied, preoccupied with external cleansing. We have the alcohol all over the place. We have masks. We have uh, facial protection. And we try our best not to be infected. And that's very prudent and healthy and good. We don't want to be infected. Just yesterday, CDC of Centers for Disease Control of America sent the result of their investigation that the, the strongest COVID-19 virus can last for 28 days on top of glass and currency. So we have to again be sensitive and be aware to protect ourselves from this. Now we shift our gaze into the ritual purity or ritual cleansing so that we can be free of anything. We are pure before God. That is the meaning of ritual purity. And Jesus, the people around Jesus were amazed, were scandalized that Jesus did not observe the, 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 the washing of the hands required among Jews before it taking a meal. And they questioned him. And to, to deepen the awareness of the hearers, Jesus said, if you want to be ritually pure, if you want to be free from anything that will affect your integrity, if you want to be safe, if you want to be really pure before God, do something beyond yourself. Give alms, meaning to say, think and act for the sake of the other. And the first reading, it says, faith doing love in faith. To be a Christian is not only a noun, it is a verb, it is an action word, an action that goes up beyond ourselves towards the other. That is the meaning of the readings for today. To be a Christian is not only to observe tremendously the, rit the ritual purity so that we can differ from God, but rather let this purification, that means being free from any self-interest, become the gateway for us to think and act for the sake of the other. Of course, we have to be aware and preoccupied that touching things that might be infectious will affect our inside. Of course, we have to be aware that we have to preserve ourselves to, to be healthy. But we go deep beyond that preoccupation of the, on the surface. That is where true faith resides. That is where true action for the sake of the other emanates. That is where the image of God resides. Let that be exteriorized. Let that be, be expressed in charitable acts, words, deeds, and thoughts. Oftentimes, because of the self-preoccupation about COVID-19, we become so immersed about, we are so preoccupied about ourselves. We want to protect ourselves. That is good. But we have to be aware in that protecting ourselves, we have also to think and act for the sake of the other. That is the meaning of the readings for today. Let our faith work through love. Let the faith expressed in ritual purity make us more attentive, compassionate, and charitable towards those who are marginalized. So we ask for that grace today, that even as we are aware that we need to protect ourselves from impure things that might affect our health, let us also be aware that the purification that God requires is that faith works through love by compassion and charity.